Well, University of Toledo cross-country runner Janelle Noe's life changed forever after she was severely burned at a house party last January. WTOL 11 News was in the courtroom less than a month ago when Christopher Housel, the man responsible for the scars Janelle will live with the rest of her life, was sentenced. Now for the first time in an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with our Danielle Dwyer, Janelle is opening up about what happened that night. She has a story now on Fox 36. When you think about January 15th, what, what comes to your head? It's just a life-changing day and not for the good, I would say. January 15th, 2016. Janelle says she got a text from fellow student athlete Chris Housel about a house party at his off-campus home, asking her if she wanted to come over. So I get there and um, I don't drink and so I always go there as a self-proclaimed DD and then, you know, hang out while I'm there. Janelle says she wasn't even at the party an hour when the night took a turn for the worse. He took air freshener and he was trying to, like, light that on fire and I told him, like, stop it, you're an idiot, you know, you're going to catch the house on fire, basically. But household didn't stop. He was walking towards me and he had, um, like, a candle, kind of like this big lit candle in his hand and um, he was all down to his side I guess he was carrying like the bottle of um, Everclear the next thing I know like he was he poured it onto the candle and I was on fire that's all I remember she says she heard people screaming stop drop and roll her clothing engulfed in flames until a friend stepped in and ripped her shirt off to help while others used a blanket to put out the fire I felt like my body just kind of like not necessarily like melting away, but kind of like just like just feeling everything like closing in and I just felt like I was being suffocated. So I was conscious the entire time. I remember trying to scream and not being able to. Janelle was taken by ambulance to the burn unit at Mercy St. Vincent. Over 50% of her body was now covered in second and third degree burns. The ones up here on my chest and my were the deepest and my neck and they were concerned about those a lot. Like they said that if I probably would have burned for seconds longer, I would have died. But it wasn't until she was home from the hospital trying to resume everyday life that the reality of what happened really sank in. It was just a combination of how I looked and what would the future hold for me and like how long is it going to take until things are semi back to normal. Chris Housel was sentenced to four months in jail and community service in a burn unit. And while he will be out of jail in a few months, Janelle will live with these scars for the rest of her life. I'm not him. I don't know what his thoughts are. I'm hoping that like it will affect him just as long as it has and will me. Well, this is an incredible and a very powerful story, Danielle, that you've been covering pretty much since the very beginning. Tell us a little bit more mm -hmm. about this recovery process for her. Yeah, so, um, you know, Janelle said that she's very committed to getting back to life as she once knew it, that normal routine, which running was a huge part of that. Um, she's been running since she was 12 years old. So that was a huge part for her to get back to that normalcy that she's known for so long. Um, so I actually have that part coming up at 11. She shares her story on, obviously you can imagine the challenges she's facing with kind of that road to recovery, but that story's coming up at 11. What a brave young woman. Definitely. Thanks, Danielle. Yep. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Well,